Hi, I'm Jessica Harkins with Anderson and Vreeland's Technologies team. Today we're going to demonstrate the QEA uh, IAS plate measurement device. Right now we're going to go through the procedure of measuring a digital flexo plate, and we're going to do that with the optics foot for flexo plates. This unit comes with a light box, so essentially there is an LED light inside this unit that allows light to transmit through the plate material. This also comes with a jig so that we can easily position the device in the jig so that it's always over top of the light source. But if you have a larger plate area, this can be removed and you can lay a large plate out on top of the light box. This device can be used to measure flexo plates, dry offset letterpress plates, and also print samples for the printing industry. Each different model or each different mode can be switched out by removing this optics foot and simply adjusting with a different optics foot. Before we measure our plate, we actually want to check the calibration of the unit. So we're going to take the transmission reference standard, place it on the bite box, and put our optics on top of there. Now that the reference standard is positioned underneath the IAS, we're going to go into the software and under the plate setting, select Calibrate. It asks me to position the block underneath the IAS. I'm going to click OK. And it tells me that an automatic calibration is in progress and that I need to not touch the device. OK? So now we have our calibration report. So you can see that our target transmission rate is actually 80. And our reference transmission was actually 79.71. Um, 0.29% away, this absolutely passes, so we can click OK. There are two different modes in the QEA software. Essentially, you can measure any plate dot that you have on, on a large plate, small plate, um, anything that's larger than the aperture of the light box. But you can also measure in what's called process control mode, where you systematically set up a 2%, a 30%, and a 50% dot. And this will gather data over time and keep it in a database for you to reference later. So the first thing we want to do is measure our 2% dot on this control strip that I have here. I'm going to lift the optics, place the 2% square directly over the LED light, and you can see on screen that I have multiple dots, and my small highlight dots are showing up. From this point, I'm going to click on Process Control. And it will actually tell the user position your plate and the optics over the 2% square. I click Next. And for highlight dots, because they're so small, I do need to position two squares by simply dragging and right-clicking the mouse key over two consecutive dots. I then click the next square, and it will outline each individual dot in red and show me my dot percentage and my line screen. I'm going to move on and click the next button, and it tells me please position on the 30% patch. So I lift my optics, move down to my 30% square, you can see the, the image changed on screen. And I'm going to click Next. Okay. You can now see again, the 30% dots are now all outlined in red. And it gives me a summary, dot percent at 29.2. This was the 30% patch. So happy with that. All of the correct dots are selected. I'm going to click Next. And I move on to the 50% patch. Click Next, and it calculates what the 50% dot looks like. At this point in time, it measures a 48. When I click Next there, it actually gives me a report, tells me what each of my control strips measured, and lets me know if it was pass or fail based on tolerances that I can specify for this plate material. So now that we've measured all three dot percentages, the 2, the 30, and the 50, this data actually gets populated into an Excel spreadsheet so that you can manage your data and, and review your data over time. So now, just for an example, 
going to open up a past Excel spreadsheet so that you can see the data trends that this QEA device can, can generate for you. So anybody that has Excel can open up one of these spreadsheets. And this is actually information taken over a few months span so that you can measure and see your data in all your different points. And this particular chart was made for 2% dot. So over time, every 2% dot has been charted out in Excel, and you can see different trends throughout your process and know if you've been consistent on your plate material or not. This is a very important part of the QEA module, and this is called the process control module. The QEA device and having a plate analysis device is very important so that you know that you are being consistent in your plate room every single day.